Mazda RX-8 bumper removal. This particular vehicle is a 2004. It doesn't have the lower lip. And here's our bumper. I've removed these little pull pins from here, here, this corner. I'm removing the one here and then right here. It's hard for me to see because of the sun. Uh, these ones that are inset, I had to use a screwdriver to pull them up enough so that I could get this little tool under and then pry up. You see they just come out like that. So I've never taken one of these apart, so kind of learning as I go. I figured I might as well document it. There's this piece. And then we get down to the, the meat. Looks like there's two bolts here. Two bolts here. Let me get my tool and I'll report in a size. Okay. Determined them to be 10 millimeter. And you'll loosen them like so. And again, I'm not going to make you sit here through the boring loosening, but you see what I, where I'm loosening. I'll check back in in just a second. All right. Loosened and removed. Okay. See, that loosens this whole section. And now I'm going to look around and find out what's next. I'm going to go ahead and remove this fender liner here. These little guys, you use a Phillips, and the little head will back out. And these are quite simple to remove. Of course, I'd leave the one that's hard to get to, to demonstrate with. Yeah, let me go to the other side to demonstrate. But you see how they pop right out, like this. And there's four of them. And then this whole section is loose. And then there's a bolt hidden up in here that has a Phillips head on it. So let me loosen that guy. Okay, I've removed that right there. And you have to pull down ever so slightly. And then you see this pulls out. And separates on this side. I will go do the other side, the same thing. All right, I'll show you how these guys work. All the way this tire is in here. I may not be able to. Yeah, I can't get to it. Yeah, I gotta change screwdrivers. Right tool for the job. See how that pops out? Pops right out. Ugh. Pops right out. And yeah, I'll do that off camera because I only need two hands. So the magic of having all the right tools, use this. These things come quite in handy. Whoop. Go get him. What I did on the other side off camera. Right in here is a little Phillips. Uh, and that's why I did it off camera. Because <laughs> it's a, a pain, but you get the point. Again, I'll do it off camera. Alright, now it's loose. Bingo. And Pull it down and move it over, and you're free here. All right, I came to the front. I was going to see if we needed to take a headlight off. So you already have this loose. And I realized you just kind of pull, and it front bumper, see, detaches just like that. Should demonstrate it on camera, so pop it loose. Very gentle. 
see she pops loose from there see all these little clips here are what you're trying to get loose sorry for the squeaking there bad wheelbarrow you see all this is pulling forward now I just got to get underneath and see what else is hanging us up we have screws all here there there and here and over yep. there so I'll start taking those out and let you guys know for sure which ones need to come out okay actually upon wiggling it this whole plate is attached to the bumper so I'm gonna start with those two in the back and see if it comes off all in one piece or not I will report back momentarily we are also at the back of this plate those little guys I'm gonna take those out okay. those are the twist locks just like in the fender wells put the screwdriver in twist and the little heads pop down so there's this Wow looks like it's this whole under piece all right I'll keep digging okay in order to undo all that it's all one piece that attaches all the way up in here into your fenders as part of your this piece so this piece here is actually part of the part that goes completely under the car I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble all that it looks like one two three four and I'll do the same on the other side and see if that doesn't free everything up I've taken all of these with the fender loose and those ones I showed you and it's still hanging up it appears inside here right around this area there's a bolt holding this piece of plastic so it's small I'm guessing about a Thanks for coming out. Seven. Okay, here as well. This is normally attached to the body. This one's loose on this car. But right here there's a bolt. I believe it's a 10. I gotta go get my tool and double check. I can confirm, yes, this is a 10 millimeter. It's up in here. I'll remove it and report back. Okay, I've removed this little beast and that whole bumper is getting a lot looser. I'm going to go do the same on the other side and we'll see if that doesn't free us up again because I'm pulling this and I'd rather get the whole thing as one big assembly just in case this is for my mother's car in case she ever has an accident gets in a wreck I want her to have all the pieces available since these cars are getting more and more rare and also disconnect your wiring for the turn signal because it's going to be attached to the body so go ahead, see here's where it's attached. Disconnect this so that uh, also to free the bumper up to remove it. And yes, on the driver's side as well, there's a bolt past your horn. Oh God, I hope you guys can see in there. I don't have the flash on. It's right back here. Right there. And it's attached to all this plastic. So I'm gonna attempt to reach in there and get that loose again because I'm trying to take the whole thing. So I'll be reporting right back. Okay, and you'll see here, uh, hopefully that'll make it easier to see where the bolt is. I've attached the 10 millimeter and I'm working him out. Ugh. Sorry guys, junkyard, inadequate lighting and I'm doing this alone. I'm not quite sure when it paused, but you need to make sure you get your wiring for your turn signals unhooked from here. I use needle nose pliers to push these tabs in. I did that on both sides. I'm not sure when it paused on me. Okay, and whew, I'm almost loose. I'm hanging up 
on some wiring. Right here. Just give me a second, I'll disconnect that and be right back. All right, success people. Now remember, this is a junkyard car for the sake of reusing these parts potentially if anything happens to my mother's car I've just cut these don't do this to your car please unplug things properly but see all this is one big monkey harness that attaches with these little guys but if you were to unplug this stuff it should best thing for you guys to do is unplug here at the fog light again unplug at the fog light right down here Again here, just disconnect there. This piece will stay with the body and you'll have your whole bumper. Now again, I wanted all of this whole tray and everything for mother's car. Hopefully they won't rape us too bad on the price. But considering it's all attached as one piece, I'm hoping it's considered a bumper cover assembly. So that will be that. That's how you remove an RX-8 bumper cover. I will say to you all, I've heard these things come apart in layers. It appears if you want to remove this lower piece, you've got retainers here, 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 over there, and that separates this lower valance. Um, and there are bolts, as I showed you in the middle of the video, all along in between this piece and this bottom piece. Okay, looking from the underside, you have all these pieces here, here, all these that disconnect. And in your vehicles, if you're just removing simply the bumper cover and don't want all this extra splash shielding, I would remove these all along here and detach it that way. And that way this whole piece should come separate. Worst case, you see where there's other fasteners that you may or may not have to detach to get it loose. But I want this whole assembly for Mother, just in case she needs it. Better to be safe than sorry when cars get old. So there you have it. 2004 RX-8 bumper cover remover. <laughs>